Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Kind of a big deal, Ian Hunter. Best visual effects for an Academy Award? Uh, that's huge. So let's talk about your work in Interstellar. Okay. How did you get involved with this? Well, this is my fourth outing on a Christopher Nolan movie. We've worked previously on The Dark Knight, Inception, and Dark Knight Rises. And so we were really honored to have Chris ask us to come back and work on Interstellar with him. And for me, it's great because I've been in the visual effects business for quite a while. And to be asked to build spaceship models for a Chris Nolan movie is pretty exciting. So I was really, really happy to be on it. All right, you're making it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. A lot of people that have watched the movie, myself included, would not even think that it was actually based off of a physical spaceship model. And you just think that it's all done with CG, but it wasn't like that at all with this. In this case, we use miniatures for the spaceships. So anytime you see any of the spaceships out in space floating from Earth through the wormhole and then finally ending up at Gargantua, which is the big black hole in the movie, those are spaceship models. And I think what that helped do was ground the experience in reality. We're building real models. We're shooting with cameras that are using real film, actual film, not digital, and being lit with real lights. And so it helped create this connection between Earth and this far-reaching idea of going into interstellar space. And I think just having that model there, you accept what you're looking at for real, so you don't really think about it anymore, and then you just go along with the story. And I think that's really what Chris's genius was, was to use miniatures in that respect. What has your relationship been like with Christopher Nolan? Because you've worked with him for so long now. Christopher Nolan is a fairly secretive film director. He writes with his brother the scripts, and you don't often get the scripts to actually read. You get to read pieces of it, or you get as much as you need to know to make the film. But he's also, by and far, one of the best directors I've ever worked with in terms of direction, in terms of having a clear vision, in terms of being able to tell you what that is. He comes from a background of hand-making movies himself, so he has a great sense of understanding what each and every person in the crew does. And so when you can converse with him about costumes, you can converse with him about sound, about visual effects, he knows it all because he's done it all. And so for us, it's great to be with somebody who not only understands and appreciates what we do, but then knows how to take what we do and twist it a little bit and push us a little harder to do our best work. And that's the thing that Chris does, is he pushes his crew to really rise up and do the best work that they possibly can. Because we're working for the same goal, which is to get something that's memorable and that we can all be proud of. Here we go.